Right, welcome back. We're going to do episode number seven. Um, something a little bit different today I'm trying is to put the microphone closer to my face so I don't have to feel like I shout. It might backfire because I, I'm an old man <laughs> and I can't hear very well. I can't see very well either, but I can't hear, especially with the lights, but I can't hear very well. And um, yeah, with a, even just one earbud, which is what I use, even with just one in, it's a problem for me because I shout like an old man does when he's got headphones in. I know, I, I can't help it. I really can't help it. No matter, in fact, in that case, I shouldn't do this because this probably will backfire, but I'm going to try really, really, really hard not to try and make a conscious attempt. I'm almost raising my voice there. Um, yeah, because I've noticed it's been very shouty and almost distorted, actually. Um, my mic settings reset for some reason and I thought I put them back to the way they were but they're not really the pitch is really high and it, like I said it's a bit distorted it may be because the mic's broken but I'll find out doing it this way I don't know but um, but it's also because I shout and when I shout I raise the pitch of my voice and obviously it's going to distort the mic a little bit as well but if I get excited I probably will but what I'll do is I'll just turn that down in the edit if it's like really distorted and it hurts your ears <laughs> Because I'll get to hear myself back again, obviously, when I've done this reaction. Anyway, um, yeah, right. So I thought I'd mention or oh, talk about this. Now, I don't know because I've asked whether I should talk about this because I don't know if it's a spoiler for reactions or myself or, or what. I don't know. But I haven't uploaded those reactions where I asked that yet. I'm doing this, uh, recording this reaction sooner than I thought I would. So I thought I'd record it now and... If I get a positive response uh, from those questions about, well, asking about um, whether I should talk about this, then I'll leave this in. If not, I'll just take this out. Right. So it was about the, um, what would you call it? The, uh, well, the voices or the people that Spike was hearing at the f end of the first episode of this season, the villains, and then Buffy at the end as well. I was sort of lost as to what was going on there. I didn't know. And. I assumed we weren't meant to know. But then more than one person hinted that there's something in season three that relates to this season. So I've kind of put two and two together and assumed it's about this. I don't think they told me. I don't think so. I don't think they told me, look, it's specifically about this. You need to go and check this specific episode. No one said about any episode, I don't think. But what I did is check the list uh, online of season three episodes with descriptions and I found a description that jogged my memory of something that happened. And that is that I've got it written on my phone. <laughs> I've written it down because I forget stuff so easily, so quickly. Um, I've actually watched these scenes as soon as I found the episode. I watched uh, two or three of the scenes again um, to sort of, you know, make sure I'm right in this. And I sort of was um, in what I was thinking. Um, so it is uh, season three, episode 10. Um, the one with the snow at the end and actually thinking now someone did say I've just remembered someone did say before ages ago when that when that episode uh, when that reaction was published I think under the comments that in the comments that reaction under the video someone actually told me that that this episode specifically there's something in it that they come back to or something like that so that's that's I'm, that's confirmed it now that's that I was pretty sure anyway but that, I think that's it that's confirmed it okay so I've got the right episode, I'm sure. Yeah, so uh, in that episode, Angel was kind of being stalked almost or tormented by Miss Calendar and by other victims of his from the past. So yeah, that matches what Spike was saying, although they're not Spike victims, but it matches in terms of seeing different characters, right, from his past or from Sunnydale's past, at least. I think Spike knew all of those people as well, right? Obviously, this, it's the same thing. And that, in that episode, that turned out to be, let me get this right, there's this thing that turns out to be pure evil called the first, right? And they conjure spirit manifestations and set them upon people. They were Giles's words um, to influence them, to haunt them. So that absolutely matches what's going on with Spike, right? So I was thinking, okay, so it's the third, it's the first, but then he said, um, they used, uh, it was, well, they, it was high priests of the first. So not the first itself, but high priests. And they're the ones that were torturing angels. So it was, it was the high priests doing a bit of hocus pocus or whatever and um yeah coming back as the villains but, uh, sorry the victims of angel it was also mentioned that the first isn't a physical being okay it's an ancient power of absolute evil <laughs> okay well, that makes that adds up so that makes sense it's older than man and demons okay so it's like super super old like creation times probably and it's like mega evil 
and it's not a physical being. That kind of adds up. Um, right, so when Buffy, in that episode, Buffy went down to confront, I don't think she knew what exactly what it was, but it turned out to be the first. And um, the high priests were there, weren't they? And she kind of beat them up a little bit, I think. Um, then she was confronted by the first, but it wasn't the first, it was Miss Calendar. So the first had used Miss Calendar, I guess, I don't know why actually. Well, she was one of the victims that they were kind of impersonating, let's say. They embodied them. It embo the first embodied itself as her, I guess, if that's the right word. Yeah, so she said, or the first said really, you'll never see me, but I'm everywhere. And that adds up as well, because that ties in with the whole, um, there's evil everywhere, everyone's got evil in them, right? So this first is in everyone, I think, and that might be to do with from beneath you it devours, right? It might be that. It might be that beneath you as beneath you is a bit of a word, weird way to phrase that, but yeah, something inside you, evil. Maybe that's what beneath you is. I don't know, and it will eventually devour you or something. I don't know. It doesn't really add up that, but that's my theory anyway. Yeah, because she went on to say every being, every for every bit of hate that also adds up, doesn't it, to being. Yeah, just inside everyone, basically. Yeah. So then it kind of revealed itself to be a monster. It like changed from Miss Calendar. Don't know what happened there exactly. I can't remember now. I only watched it earlier today. I can't remember, but it went from Miss Calendar to some sort of monster, and yeah, it was quite a big thing, and it was like that for a second. So it's kind of weird that it said it doesn't have any kind of physical form or whatever. What did it say? It wasn't a physical being or something. What did Giles say? Yeah, it wasn't a physical being. Well, isn't a physical being so yeah what was that then <laughs> if that wasn't a, well i guess it wasn't physical well you could see it <laughs> well it's kind of like a, a ghost really a ghost monster that kind of surprised me i thought hang on well okay i thought we were never going to see it but i think that was it it must have been unless that was a glimpse of what's inside everyone or something and the first just showed buffy that for a split second anyway that's what i think what's going on with spike i think he's been being um tormented by the high priests uh, and oh oh yeah and also we saw the high priests well two things actually we saw the high priests and they had like crosses like stitched up eyes but two like crosses where the stitches were or i could only see one actually i assume it was the same on the other side so their eyes were completely closed um that's just a, des a description of them but also they had hoods so that i thought immediately I thought, oh shit maybe they're the guys that we've seen twice now at the beginning of two episodes the first and the second i think I thought we were going to continue to see that, but we haven't seen it anymore. But it turned out Buffy was dreaming, one of them at least, or probably both. And um, yeah, some hooded figures, a hooded gang were chasing two women, weren't they? Since On separate occasions, and they stabbed both of them. Yeah, so I think that's who they are, probably. I imagine. We haven't seen the eyes yet. But I think probably that's who they are. So why would the first, why would, why would pure evil be going after these seemingly innocent women? I did see one of them kind of fight back and she like karate kick what is that karate kick but it was a good kick but we've seen dawn do that before so i might be wrong here but it made me think are they special in some way you know and well, they can't be like buffy because obviously buffy's a slayer so and there's only one so unless there's more than one but i can't imagine there is when we saw the first one in turkey i thought it was like i don't know how long ago it didn't say did it but it looked a while ago um, I can't remember exactly how it did look actually, but I, I got the impression it was a while ago. I don't know why, rather than modern day. Um, so I thought maybe that was a, a Slayer, you know, a former Slayer, another one. But then we saw the, the one in Germany in, in um, was it Frankfurt? I'm sorry, Nicole, I got that pronunciation wrong, I know. <laughs> That's how we say it in England anyway, at least. Um, the only reason I know that place is because of Eintracht Frankfurt, is it? The football team. <laughs> yeah, that was... There was techno music playing as nightclub, so obviously that wasn't that far back in time, if at all. And yeah, Buffy probably would have been the Slayer. Uh, do we know who was before her? What was what was said in that movie? I think the Watcher said something about the previous that died on. Was it in his watch or? He's watched over a number of Slayers, I think. Oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> can't remember. Anyway, um, yeah, it may have been the one before Buffy, but you know, it has to be the one immediately before her, wouldn't it? It, I got the impression it wasn't. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. So they're not Slayers, obviously. But they maybe have some sort of special ability because just I'm purely basing this on the, the kick, you know. Yeah. And they look quite kind of fit and 
fast and I think they were jumping over fences and stuff, or one of them did at least. And the one in Germany, I think. Yeah, she kind of scaled something, I think. Have I got that wrong? I don't know. But yeah, just, yeah. So there might be some other special kind of human, I guess. I guess they're human. They look human. Um, yeah, so why would the, the evil, the priests, be after them? I don't know. So that's intriguing. And this has gone on for so long. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, anyway, that's it. That's it. That's what I've got. And that's what I've got to say about that. And maybe I'll insert this at some point. Maybe this will be in this video. Who knows? Anyway, um, yeah, get on with the intro. <laughs> um, yeah, so this episode, the last episode was really funny. Really funny. I really enjoyed it. Um, probably my favourite episode, definitely actually, my favourite episode of the season so far. This season for me has been a bit of a slow burn for me at the moment. There's a lot of intrigue and mystery, which is nice, but it's also confusing and I'm impatient, as probably people know <laughs> who watch my reactions. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to let it kind of wash over me a bit more from now on. I think, um, and just kind of keep my mouth shut, shut a bit more. People will love that. <laughs> and um, yeah, just let things unfold a bit more. That's what I'll try to do anyway. Yeah, the last one was kind of a standalone, was it? Um, yeah, it kind of was, wasn't it? It was a standalone episode. So yeah, who knows what's going to happen from now on? Like what's going to happen in this next episode? Anyone's guess. More about Spike probably. Um, and the first, uh, well, yeah, the first, I was going to say, and the first, because I'm convinced that's what that is. Yeah. But also the Beneath You Devours and also those women, uh, from the previous two episodes that got killed. We still don't know yet what's going on there. So, uh, yeah, who knows? So let's get to it. Oh, the, are these two back? How did you do it? Maybe. What you talking about? Oh, is that the title of the episode? I guess. I don't normally do that. Is that the future or is that now? I think that's now, right? Night falls, it's weird. I fall. We're going to get to see dead people <laughs> in this episode. And we do every episode, right? With Spike <laughs> and the rest of the vampires. Or is this about Spike's hearing the voices of those dead villains, maybe? That cemetery looks like it's getting, for want of a better word, busier and busier and busier. Or fuller and fuller and fuller. It's a very strange intro. Can I make it right? <laughs> no pizza. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the recaps because I feel like they're showing stuff that they're going to sort of touch on in this episode. So it's kind of a me spoiler. It kind of was in the last one, only that Anya was in it. Although it was about Anya, sorry. She's always in it, pretty much. <laughs> it was about Anya. Yeah, so I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's okay. It's obviously not spoiling anything, but I'd like to not know anything at all, or not even to be hinted at anything at all. And if that was the title of the episode, that's a pretty big hint, right? We may see some people who we haven't seen for a while who are dead. Keep circling around. Just just yeah. drive straight in. So that was spoiled, because I guess that. Gotta keep it low pro. I'm just scared. Of course I'm scared. 33.3 bar percent of us were flayed alive. Calm down. It's getting all mathematical with it. We've got a plan. We're gonna fix all that. We should have stayed in Mexico. Oh dear, what plan do they have? I didn't like it there. Everybody spoke Mexico. I knew he was gonna make spoke Mexico. Learned the entire Klingon dictionary in two and a half weeks. Needed that for his love bones to Warren. Can't keep having those nightmares. Me neither. Huh? This day about to water. Oh, what? what, what it but if you starting with your bottom, I'm gonna make it right. Huh? We're outlaws with hearts of gold. Is that a version of what? From beneath the or whatever. No. Nope. Oh, Don. Oh my God, Don. Um. <laughs> Why? Let's put it back. Snap it off. <laughs> Oh my god. Is she 16 yet? I don't think so. I think we would have heard about her birthday. I think she's still 15. It's bored. <laughs> It'd be very bored wearing Buffy grounds her for what she just did. I don't like this because I feel like someone's going to grab her or something, going to break in. Cool. She's all on her own at night. Yeah, someone's here. Unless that was Buffy coming back. In a strop. library huh oh so big right well there's the first dead person i know you 
I saw your picture. Yeah. Cassie, right? Kind of weird, because you're really dead. Yeah, well, <laughs> here I am again, chatting you up. Is this uh, the same thing that was doing it to Spike? Where is she here? She asked that I come talk to you. It's important. Is this the college library? What are you talking about? Yes. She says she still sings. Oh, uh, 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 Tara. And he called her Amber then. <laughs> She says even though you can't hear it. Oh, this is she still sings to sick. You. Don't believe it. Tara? Not true. I don't think that is Cassie at all. Well, he's clearly a psychopath. Oh, Joyce. Is she going to see Joyce? Well, there's not Tom Hanks. What channel are you on? <laughs> I keep hearing this like... I feel like this is Joyce. I don't know why she'd be banging. I'm guessing no, I think it's just a local storm specifically to her house. Oh shit. <laughs> oh Buffy. I guess this shows a bit of sportsmanship from Buffy to allow him to get up fully and fight it out. She enjoys it. Buffy? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Buffy Summers? Uh, have we? Oh, oh uh, webs. You really don't remember me? Sure. Sure. There is another ghost. Is a, is a vampire though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, fair play now, but... Oh my God. Buffy's going to kill her. I feel like this is going to be Joyce. I'm kind of hoping so, because I want to see the actor. Oh God. Oh God. I don't know why she'd be... Well, it's not her, is it? <laughs> Something's just trying to scare her for some reason. That's her voice, isn't it? Mom? It's the only person I could think of where, that Dawn cares about. Mind you, Buffy doesn't care about this Junior guy, does she? Year, spring production of Pippin. But he's just a vamp, I don't I, get it. I did the lighting design. I think you filled out a lot. Oh, yeah, well, I got into Taekwondo in a big way at Dartmouth. You know, majoring in psych, really liking that. Is this just a, a way to get Buffy out of the picture, the show, to get her out of the picture? So the others get spooked on their own. Hey, you remember Jason Wheeler? You know, Crazy Jay. How is he? Crazy. <laughs> He's been in the chronic ward since graduation. You'd think. Not really that funny, I guess. A few of them would be Iconic, actually. Sort of. After that day. It feels great. Strong. Like I'm connected to a powerful, all consuming evil that's going to suck the world into a fiery oblivion. How about you? <laughs> How about you? <laughs> Not so much connected. I'm the Slayer. It's sort of a thing. More like a calling. Since. even in school. I heard a lot of rumors about you back then. You were all mysterious. I was? Yeah, <laughs> she likes that. A lot of kids thought you were dating some really old guy. All that time you were a slayer. The. The, the like is in the only one? Pretty much. Huh? So, when you said not connected, that was kind of a telling statement, ah, wasn't it? Ah, psych 101 alert. Well, I'm just saying. I'm connected to a lot of people, okay? No, oh, no, I hear you. I really yeah. am. <laughs> Storm. Buffy, yeah. come on, mm -hmm. wake up. I don't know what to do. Do it again. Oh I heard you. Oh my god, that's creepy as fuck. Okay. Holy shit. I wonder if she's back in this episode, the actor, or whether they just use that scene and just sort of superimpose it. Milk is red today, did I say? Oh my god. This could be the scariest thing that's ever happened in this show. Why are you doing this? Stop it! Stop it! Yeah, Dawn Scream's gonna scare anything away, even ghosts or evil things that pretend to be ghosts, I guess. Hello? Just do your get out, get out, get out, that'll work. Once for yes? Oh no, don't. Twice for no! Don't communicate with it. Mom? That's not a mum knock that. Well, it's you. Are you okay? Two dogs. <laughs> Don't ask questions like that, Dawn. Mommy? Oh. Are you alone? Oh god, shit. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Oh, Jonathan and Andrew. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this is an eventful episode, this. Where are they? Lights? <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> you fuckwit. Get <laughs> up, you wuss. <laughs> Donovan's like the leader of these two, okay? That makes sense. We should turn on a light. No, yeah, please. Some outside. Right. They're in a school. Maybe we should go get Buffy. No way. What are they doing? We should just tell her what we know about the seal of Danzel Tower. I ain't going back to the big house. We shouldn't have come back then. Think of it as a trial by fire a quest. They think they're saving everyone here or something. We help her destroy it. We save Sunnydale. Oh no. Then we join her gang and possibly hang out at her house. <laughs> right. <laughs> Find the principal's office and work our way down from there. Oh, they're headed to the hell mouth. Go check down the hallway and uh, I'll go over there. A bad idea, guys. Check communications. They got a map. Let's follow the map. Check, 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 check. <laughs> echo two to echo one. This is echo one. Go ahead. They're like ghostbusters with those packs. You think they'll really let us join their gang? <laughs> what do you expect? Nice job. Oh, it's Warren, the ghost of Warren. Not really, but something that's that. Take it easy, take it easy. Do you have any idea what? how hard it's been to act this cool? Calm down, you're doing great. All specs are within parameters. You keep leaving, I hate it when you leave me. This is what he's been dreaming then. And he was expecting it. Death thing was all part of the master plan. Come on. Huh? If you strike me down. I shall become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Do you think maybe Willow could kill me too? Hey, don't worry. If a short round pulls off his end of the bargain, we'll both become gods. A boy is our last hope. Right, they've been manipulated by something evil, no. aren't they? So... There is another. Wait, really? Who's our last hope? No, I was just going with it. Huh? It was a thing. I... No, he's our last hope. Tara? Is it you? I mean, that's legit like Warren, isn't it? She's sorry she couldn't come herself. Oh my god. It's a shame we don't get to see Tara, though, the actor. She just can't. Why not? I don't understand. Of all the ones to see, fucking Warren. You killed people. Uh, you can't see her. Uh, That's just how it is. But she's talking to you. And she can hear me. This is so sick. Tara. Oh. Tara. I miss you. I miss you so much. Did she go away? Crying. No. Fuck no, don't off. cry. I fucking hate oh, sweetie, talk to me. psychics. Yeah, me too. She wishes she could touch you. She's not psychic, but me too. similar, isn't it? It's not getting better. It will. It can. How? Oh, is she going to direct her down towards the mouth as well? You're strong, like an Amazon, remember? I do. I remember. That's good acting. Who's this? Someone spot used to me. So you meet someone, you form a bond. My parents weren't exactly the oh paragon of stay togetherness. Maybe that's part of it. I think there are people out there who make it. I just target the impossible ones with deadly accuracy. <laughs> you think you do that on purpose? Maybe you're trying to protect yourself? Protecting myself? From committing. I commit. I'm committed. Work her up. I'm a committee. So it's them. <laughs> you're reaching out. They're just not coming through. Committee, it would be. Wouldn't it? I just mm -hmm. think you're in some pain here, which I do kind of enjoy because I'm evil now. But you should just ease up <laughs> on yourself. It's not exactly like you have the patent on bad relationships. You know, my girlfriend at college, she's so sweet. We have this great thing. But that doesn't mean I'm going to go vampify her just so we can be together forever. <laughs> vampify her. Sire. <laughs> what? The word. <laughs> When you turn a human You'll into learn. a vampire, it's you, sire. No, you won't. You'll be dead by the end of this episode. I was afraid to talk to you in high school, and now we're like mortal enemies. <laughs> hey, wouldn't it be cool if we became nemesis? Is that how you say the word? Yeah, Warren got that wrong, didn't he? nemesis is these. I'm looking for a fight. And, oh, it's nothing <laughs> personal. Oh, no, I mean, you've been great. And fun <laughs> catching up. You just don't seem as thrilled. Is it because we're going to fight? Because I'm going to win. I'm just going to miss him. You're not leaving this graveyard. Can't let you. Do the word superiority complex mean anything to you? Whose fault was your parents' divorce? What do my <laughs> parents have to do with you? I'm just we curious. Go again. <laughs> your opinion. <sighs> you go get a couch. Off the top of your head. My dad. Uh-huh. He cheated. 
That dad's the biggest villain for Buffy, really. I don't remember you being this annoying. You don't remember me at all. Yes, I do. Clearly, you were in your own little world in high school, all chosen, all destiny. All chosen. You lived with that for seven years and not feel superior. My God, if anything, it... It was inferior. What? You knew what I've done. What I've let myself become. My best friends don't even... Hang in a demon? You'd laugh you heard some of the things I've done to them. What's she done to her best friends? The last guy I was with, I behaved like a monster. Treated him like... Wouldn't count him as one of her best friends, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she is. I let him completely take me over. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow, I didn't mean to get all true confessions on you there. She kind of needed this. This is therapy to get over the... Well, she can't get over rape, but attempted rape. <laughs> Uh, she's gonna let him? What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> oh, they're getting on so well. I think I'm gonna kill you just a little bit more than usual. <laughs> a little bit more than usual. We had a moment. You opened up. It was really sweet. It made me want to bite you. I'm sorry if I overstepped my bounds. I'm just new to this whole mortal enemy stuff. <laughs> oh, they're in the... I hear you. Oh, shit. Back to dawn. What the fuck? I hear you breathing. They're wolf in it or something. Are you hurting my mother? Are you keeping her from coming back to me? Jesus fucking Christ! Mom. I'm sorry. Forgot I was closer to the mic. I'm coming towards you, okay? Oh. Oh. What was it? Her. Let her talk to me. Fuck me. Dawn's brave. Oh. Oh, it can attack her. Get out. Yeah, I, I, I do as he says, honestly. No. <laughs> Holy shit, Dawn. This is my house. <laughs> She's my mother. This is my mother. I'm staying. Fucking, that is scary. Maybe we should start over. Oh, there it is. What? Done for not sure? gonna see him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. What we're looking for should be right. I thought the Hellmouth was under the principal's office now. Maybe it's not the Hellmouth then. But are you killing me because I'm evil or because you opened up? Oh my god. <laughs> he reminds me a little bit of Paul Rudd. A little bit. Sex and death and love and pain, it's all the same damn thing to you. Kind of a guy thing. We talk about nailing a girl, there's all this stuff. No, it is not the same. With vampires, it is completely... Believe me, I know. Oh my god. <laughs> Figured out. Oh, your god, what? Banged a couple of our boys. Well, you know, not my god, because I defy him and all of his work. <laughs> you have to answer one question. I get to Did ask you bang a vampire? No secrets, no defensiveness. What's your question? I like a hair like that. Your last relationship, was it with a vampire? <laughs> Who's this with Spike? You were grieving. A lot of people grieve. They don't make with the flame. That's what I said. But people tried to convince me <laughs> that I was wrong, the way she reacted. We can see your path and you have to stop. You can't use magic again, not ever. Black magic, of course. Trying to put her off using magic. But Makes Giles sense. Says it isn't as simple as, as quitting. Is one of these going to turn out not to be a ghost or an impersonation of a ghost? Like To be a ghost, I mean, like a real ghost. She says... I'm hoping what? it's this one because this is sick. You're not going to be okay. You're going to kill everybody. Yeah. Nah. I don't believe it, will they? Yeah, they're just trying to fucking fuck with her. <laughs> they're just going to get her head, get her to do crazy shit. Although they did say don't do any magic anymore. Which is how she does her crazy shit. We almost got this thing uncovered. I'm trying to forget about high school. Why are you trying so hard to remember it? I don't know. I guess I miss it. Don't hmm. you? No. I miss my friends. I miss my enemies. You do miss every part of it. Even the worst parts. Find out how they're doing. I'll... I want to know what's going on in their lives. No, I won't go that far. <laughs> they don't want to talk to you. Not one of them is sitting around going, I wonder what Jonathan's up to right now. Not one of them cares about you. Well, I still care about them. It's the evil speaking for him. That's why I'm here. Oh. What is it? Uh, it's like the Slytherin uh, gate or whatever it is. I will test you out. My mother needs to talk to me. Holy shit. <laughs> 15 years old, Dalton is brave, isn't she? <laughs> oh my 
Just get no poltergeist on her. Is your poison in your brain? Ooh. Oh shit. She's gonna start getting exorcist. Power of Christ compels you. Try that. Oh my god. There's gonna be no house left. Is this actually happening though? Is it gonna be once this is over, is this gonna be back to normal? Is it like an illusion for Dawn? I hope so. I think I afford repairs like that. I didn't wanna be loved. Didn't you? I didn't ask for it. I don't deserve it. I wanted to be punished. I wanted to hurt like I thought I deserved. Is that why she went with Spike? This is um complicated. If you'd rather just fight. She saw that as a punishment to us, like she was punishing herself. I'm worse than anyone. She said to Tara, didn't she? Forgive me. I feel like I'm not worthy of their love. Even though they love me, it, it doesn't mean anything. Their opinions don't matter. Wow. They don't know. They're not the Slayer. I am. Sometimes I feel... <sighs> this is awful. You fight for good though, Buffy. There's nothing bad you've done. I feel like I'm better than them. Superior. Superior? Physically, <laughs> at least. You do have a superiority complex, and you've got an inferiority complex about it. <laughs> Kudos. <laughs> it makes every kind of sense. And it all adds up to you feeling alone. But Buffy, everybody feels alone. Everybody is, until you die. <sighs> you ready for a little death match? I suppose. I won't be happy until he's dead, this guy. Again. Dead again. You know, there's some things you can only tell a stranger. You're not a stranger. <laughs> this is so weird. It's good though. That stuff with Spike is pretty... Hold it. What? Did you say Spike? Mm, does he know him? Hmm? Who is this person? I'm so confused by this. Are you trying to get some here, is she? Is Spike turning her down? Sunlight Spike. Oh my god. No one's gonna believe Dawn that went through this. Oh my god. Look at the place. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, she's done it, has she? She just... Played it. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately for you though, Dawn, there's no Joyce. Wait for it. Oh. What was... Has the sun just risen? <laughs> that was quick. Was this jo Oh, Joyce! Oh, Joyce! Holy shit! Oh, please tell me this is real, because this is sick otherwise. Mom? Oh. I'm gonna what? That's why I came. We needed to warn you. What did you see? You don't want to know what we saw. Oh, God. Well, don't bring it up then. <laughs> no more magic. Right. Right, stop. Yeah, she's trying to make her weaker. This is evil. You're telling me I'm gonna murder all my friends. I I'm not strong. I'm not an Amazon. There is one thing. Oh, here it comes. What? Anything. And you could see her. That's what you want, isn't it? Of course. So go. Be with her. Everybody will be safe and you'll be together again. No, she's trying to get her to kill herself. It's not that bad. What the fuck? Really? Will I just walk away? It's just like going to sleep. Willow's that kind of personality though. Okay, she, she, she understands now. She knows. Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was proven wrong there. I was going to say she's the type of... She, she's agreeable, isn't she? At times. The old Willow was. Who's the guy that sired me? Oh! Uh. Wait. Things are coming, Dawn. Listen, How? things are on their way. Still got the chip. I love you and I love right? Buffy. And why? He's got a she soul. Be there for you. What the fuck? Why are you... When it's bad, Buffy won't choose you. Oh man, they're doing an absolute job on these women. No! No, don't go! Please don't go! No. Oh. Suicide thing was too far, huh? What the fuck? Andrew's been got to. The world would be a better place evil. if you took a razor blade to your wrist. Stop. You're not good enough though. Willow's not buying this. Picture of your dead girlfriend on your bloody last. Stop it. Oh, baby, you left such a big hole. It hurts so bad. She's good, isn't she? Since actress. This last year is going to seem like cake after what I put you and your friends through, and I am not a fan of easy death. It's like this evil's trying to weaken the soldiers of Sunnydale, the gang, right? From 
Although Jonathan's not really one of them. Oh, not it. Me. Yeah, I think that's the first, right? The pure evil. Oh no. Oh fuck. What was that? Blood? Okay, it's just some sort of artist impression of blood. Oh no, Jonathan. What's going on with Spike? I don't understand. And they got to him to get through the... Can I make it right okay, she got rid of him. <laughs> to get through the pain is... Have they have The evil got to him to get through the pain. Oh, that's a bit confusing with Spike. I don't know what's going on there. The whole episode was a little bit confusing, but it was good. It was really good. Yeah, so during the intro, I wondered whether I'd include that or not. I am going to now because I think it's 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 the first, right? The pure evil from season three, episode ten. Yeah, if you didn't watch my intro, watch that. Yeah. So it's getting in everyone's ear and it's got to spike, I guess, but there was no indication that he was going through pain there, so I don't understand. I mean, there's convincing him to withstand the pain and to do the evil deed. To bite people, to sire them, whatever. To kill them, or sire them, whatever. Both really, isn't it? When you sire someone, you kill them, technically. Um, yeah, I, I didn't think we knew her from the show, so she's obviously just some random girl he met. Well, she went up to him, didn't she? Wrong place, wrong time girl. <laughs> Yeah, so wh why wasn't he in pain? Like, you'd think you'd just see, like, him fighting the pain to do that, but he didn't. So that's a bit weird, so I don't know what's going on there. Willow's really strong, though. Dawn! Dawn, my God, Dawn was strong. That was sick. So, so the whole thing was sick, wasn't it? It was really good, this episode. I think that was my favourite episode. I really loved the last one because it was so funny, but I really loved this episode. It was really good. This was a better episode, actually, technically, and subjectively a better episode yeah really liked it my favorite of the season i think i really love fun ones though the last episode was great i just had so much fun with it you know and it was funny and i love funny episodes especially with this show i think it's, it's this show's strength i mean it's got many strengths actually this show but for me the humor tops everything for this for me in this show but these types of episodes are great as well really great yeah just thinking what can i score it Oof. I gave it a 9, didn't I, that last one? I'm going to give this 9.25 just because it was a better episode. Even though I may have... I don't know, I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed them both equally, I think, but I just prefer humorous things generally. So I think that's why... It's just all fun. That's all the last episode, I think. Yeah, okay. What can I say about it, though? What, what needs to be said? It was just really good. Um... I guess the, yeah, if that, if that is the first, if I'm right, and it's evil, they look like they're targeting, you know, the people that could possibly stop the evil, right? Deliberately targeting the gang. Although Dawn, well, she's... They didn't try and get Dawn to do anything, did, 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 uh, did they? <laughs> they tried to get Willow to kill herself. They've turned Spike evil again, it looks like. I don't quite know how he didn't... Didn't look like he was in pain though, but I'll find out, I guess. And he did it with a soul as well. Oh my god. I mean, he's desperate, Spike, isn't he? So he's been listening. He's been down in that basement all this time, but I thought he'd kind of. I thought he was stronger than that, but you know. Spike's the most vulnerable right now, isn't he? And that's the problem, I think, that they got him just at the right time. And uh, like I said, he's been down there. So he's been, yeah, talking with them, hasn't he? Well, they've been talking with him, right? So. All this time, a lot more than the others. So, yeah, I mean, he didn't mention that to anyone, did he, to Buffy? He's just been kind of going through it and it's finally, they finally got to him, right? Okay. I'm a little bit confused. What that kind of seal that Warren and Andrew found, I mean, Warren, the evil, which was Warren, was another, well, they're all the evil, right? So, Warren was another manifestation of the evil. Um, which I think is the first, or the high priest of the first, right? I think. Um, either way, same thing, I guess, sort of. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit confused. So that was actually there, wasn't it? So Andrew and Jonathan seemed to be having those dreams, right? And they thought it meant that they should go to the school, dig up that, whatever it was, sort of uh, underground. Well, it was like a, a door or a seal, whatever. And it turns out really that. The evil, which the first, I think, 
or the, the high priests of the first, um, were, it was manifested into Warren. And it looked like it was a lure for Andrew. I mean, obviously Warren, not Warren really, but whoever Warren is, the, the evil had been in Andrew's ear the whole time. Jonathan didn't know anything about that. And the whole plan was to kill Jonathan at that spot, I guess. So I'm a bit confused about why, why there, what's the significance of that? I mean, the, they found something, didn't they? I don't think that's an allusion. That's something there, I think, right? Yes, it wasn't. But why would, no, it must be, it must be a reason for doing it there. Does that open something? Does his blood, <laughs> a sacrificial, or sacrifice and sacrificial blood, does that open it? Maybe. Maybe that opens it and there's evil down there and it will release the evil or something. Yeah, Andrew doesn't know what he's done. Well, obviously, he's been convinced by what he thinks was the ghost of Warren. I've always been weird when, because obviously he'd been talking about it, uh, talking with him the whole time, even before this episode. But we just hadn't seen that, obviously, because we haven't seen them. I've always been weird because he was so casual when he saw him. I was like, he's going to freak out. But um, that makes sense now. He's been having conversations with him. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised Andrew didn't, was that even mentioned, did Warren mention that to Andrew? Like, if you die, we can be together or something. Something was mentioned about, I can't remember now, it's gone out of my head, but I'm kind of surprised Andrew didn't also kill himself in the hope that he joined Warren in the afterlife. Maybe that's on his mind as well, I don't know, but yeah, okay. So I don't know what he thinks he was doing. Like, I guess he knows, but we don't know exactly why that specific spot Anyway, I wonder what's down there. Yeah, evil. Some sort of evil. Um, yeah, I don't think Buffy's house is going to be wrecked. Surely not. I feel like that was an illusion. That was just a complete illusion. I mean, the whole it was all an illusion in a way, but it wasn't in a way as well because it was, if I'm right, it is the, the, the first or the high priest of the first or some sort of evil. Um, so that, they're actually doing that. But yeah, what they were experiencing with the people they were experiencing it with were illusions, really, because it wasn't really them. Would you call that an illusion? Then? I don't know. They were tricked, basically, which is an illusion, I guess. But um, yeah, does that mean that the house isn't destroyed? I don't think so now, because I think there was a reason, yeah, like I said, that Andrew killed Warren at that spot over that door, for want of a better word. Um in that case, that actually happened. They dig, they did dig it up, and that was there. So I think the house might be destroyed now. Actually, thinking about it. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, a lot happened in this episode. It was really good though. I really enjoyed Buffy's conversation with that vampire. So yeah, I think that was really to take Buffy out of the equation because otherwise she'd have probably gone. Well, obviously, the reason she missed the phone call from Dawn was because she was chatting or fighting with the vampire. So yeah, that was a way for that. I think. Yeah, and it, that's why I thought, well, hang on, is he also some sort of manifestation? But no, he was a proper vampire. We saw him break the turf, and that's what confused me. I was like, oh, I'm not sure. But yeah, he's a vampire, okay. Yeah, so that's why they did that, to take her out of the, the game, so to speak, for the episode, I think. Okay. Interesting we didn't see Xander. <laughs> I wonder why that is. It never occurred to me, actually, during the episode. Xander got nobody... From the afterlife, who he would want to speak to. I'm probably forgetting someone obvious, but... I feel like Xander could have been with Dawn, but... At the same time, I quite like Dawn being her own, because it, it made it more scary. Maybe that's why they didn't have Xander in it, because... That's where he would have been, probably. If he was anyway, if he wasn't with the others. But I feel like, yeah, her on her own, being so young at night... It was pretty scary, that. I think that was the scariest... Well, they were the scariest scenes of the show, actually, for me. I'm not normally, I don't normally get that scared with stuff like that, but that was proper scary, particularly when we first saw Joyce on the sofa. <laughs> I was terrified. That was absolutely terrified. I'll admit I was scared. I wish I had that heart monitor, actually, this stuff, for this episode specifically. Never mind. I won't use that again, by the way. It was just, it was crap. It didn't work that well. And yeah, it was probably distracting. So yeah. Won't be using that again, but I kind of would have liked to have seen because I was really scared. I, I'll admit it, I was really scared during those scenes, particularly when we saw Joyce on the sofa. Also, um, Joyce, I might have to watch that bit again. I just actually, I talked again. I didn't mean to. I, I deliberately tried to make an effort not to, and I still did. I was still talking throughout that. I, I can't stop. I can't stop talking. Um, yeah, I'm just going to see what exactly she said to Dawn. Sorry, I'm just finding it. 
Okay. So we know that wasn't um, real. She said, when it's bad, Buffy won't choose you. She'll be against you. We know that's not real, but obviously Dawn thinks it is. And she's actually Dawn's the, uh, the one that thinks this is all real, right? Out of everyone. Oh, Spike as well, I guess. Yeah. Actually, there's only, there's only Willow left, isn't there? <laughs> Willow's the only one that figured it out, actually. I'm proud of Willow. She called it. So, yeah, I guess Willow will say today in some respects that she will tell everyone that, no, it wasn't real. It happened to me too. And I'm telling you now it wasn't uh, Cassie and it, she wasn't really talking about what was going on with Tara at all. Yeah, so I think Willow's going to help them all to kind of um, realise that this was all fake. Okay, because, uh, yeah, I was going to say, so Dawn doesn't, no yet she thought that was all real she'll take some convincing dawn <laughs> so will spike yeah so spike's still crazy isn't he so yeah it's a mess now isn't it it's an absolute mess and buffy doesn't know anything that happened at all does she she doesn't know anything about this so she can't help and yeah it's a mess <laughs> okay this has really stirred things up though hasn't it okay but the way that was done with joyce it kind of felt to me like I don't know why. Am I being tricked now? It kind of felt like that was the truth. Like a prediction or something. But no, that was the, she was the evil as well, right? But wait, Dawn, well, yeah, I did say that maybe one of them is a ghost. Dawn banished the evil, right? Yeah, so maybe Joyce, this is Joyce's ghost and this is actually Joyce. And she's telling the truth, maybe. But then again, it looks so clear to me as well that it's the evil planting stuff in Dawn's head to put a, a wedge between uh, uh, Buffy and herself, right? Yeah. Or Buffy and Dawn. Yeah. I don't know now. I don't know. Yeah, because I did think oh, that would be interesting if one of these were actually a real ghost. And it might, if, if any of them were, it's Joyce. Because, at, yeah, because all the, yeah. Joyce is the only one. Warren was um, looked like a real person. Like there was no effects. But with Joyce here, there's like a halo around her. And she's like bright white. Yeah. So maybe that is really Joyce. Maybe that's really her ghost. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Oh my God, that's probably quite obvious now thinking about it. Or is it? <laughs> Have I just completely talked myself into that? I don't know. Ooh. That would be really good. It wouldn't be good. What she said isn't good, is it? Because she said, yeah, Buffy won't be there for Dawn when the shit hits the fan. But why would she tell Dawn that, though? Surely. No, it can't be Joyce then. Because Joyce, would... Joyce is basically saying, probably, that Buffy's evil in that case, right? But Buffy's her real daughter. I feel like she'd be telling Buffy this. <laughs> That's not what it is, is it? She's saying that Buffy won't be there for her. She's almost saying, like, she'll turn on her. That's weird. So yeah, it can't be a ghost, really, then. Oh, fucking hell, this show, man. <laughs> it's fucking with my head. Um, anyway. Yeah, loved it. I really liked it. It was a really good one. 9.25. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. <laughs> I didn't mean to speak for this long. So much work in the edit as well when I do this. Oh my God, I never learn. I'm still doing it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this might be in this close to me didn't fuck up the reaction and I didn't shout too much. I think once or twice I might have. But I'll, I'll fix that in the edit if it's too loud. Hopefully it wasn't distorted. You can't really fix that. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. And hopefully you'll come back and join me for whatever episode eight, I think it is. I'm tempted to do it now, but I haven't downloaded it yet. And that takes about 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if I can be bothered um, to do that and wait for it and then do the reaction. Who I might do. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see. I'll download it and see how I feel. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter, does it? Because you'll see it at the same time if you're on... Uh, patreon or youtube actually it'll be a couple of days later or three or four days later on patreon and on youtube it'll be a week later hopefully you'll join me for it thanks for joining me for this one really good episode and see you for the next one see ya bye you'll see me bye